Hi, I'm Matt, lead developer on ID Picker. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate ID Picker 3's export capability to NetGestalt, the track centric gene gene interactions tool created by Bing Zhang's lab. You can currently export to NetGestalt in two ways. You can create a continuous composite track, CCT file, from the protein view, or a single continuous track, SCT, from QuasiTel. I'll go over each in detail and show how to import it into NetGestalt. The CCT file is created from the export menu of the protein view. NetGestalt will show this file as a heat map of genes versus sources or source groups. It doesn't matter what the pivot and tree grouping settings are in the protein view, NetGestalt always expects a gene symbol to be a unique column of the heat map, so ID Picker always creates output conforming to that. However, you have choices as to what you want your heat map rows to be and how to fill in the values. These choices mirror the pivot menu. You can use either your source groups or your individual sources as the heat map rows. For fractionated samples, you will want to use source groups. The values or colors of the heat map can either be in the number of spectra, distinct matches, or distinct peptides. You can even export reporter ion intensities from your isobaric labeling experiments. For non-label experiments, you will usually use spectral count. The CCT export menu gives you two options for scaling the data before output. You can normalize it on a source by source or source group by source group basis to try to make the values between columns more comparable, and or you can take the natural log of the values to reduce problems with extreme values. There is also an option to create a track sample information file for your CCT, which helps you create the file that describes extra metadata about your sources or source groups. I'll demonstrate that now by exporting spectra by source group. It first prompts me to pick where to save the file and confirm overwriting an older one. Then it shows me the TSI form. Only the leaf groups of my source group hierarchy, those without any child groups, will be exported. The higher level groupings are not meaningful to NetGestalt. In this file, I have two cell lines, one that is resistant to tyrosine kinase inhibition and one that is sensitive to it. Each cell line has two biological replicates, and each biological replicate has two technical replicates. I will add a column to let NetGestalt know which groups are resistant and which are sensitive. If I had more cell lines, this would be even more useful. Of course, I can manually type the resistance class into each cell, but there's a better way. If you're familiar with regular expressions, you can use them to fill up all the cells of a column at once. This is very useful if your source or group names contain the pattern that you want to use in the new column. Otherwise, you can use this tool to set the cell values for only the rows that match the pattern. If you have clinical patient samples, you can add many columns relevant to each patient or patient pool. Remember, the purpose of the TSI file is to allow you to organize the rows of the heat map once you get the data into NetGestalt. Now I just hit create and tell it where to save the TSI file, and I'm ready to go to NetGestalt. Now I will import the CCT and TSI files we just exported into NetGestalt. I open up my Chrome browser, which I have found to be the most compatible browser for NetGestalt when using Windows. I go to Track, Upload Track File, choose file to pick the CCT I created before. Because it's a CCT, I get another option to choose the TSI file, so I'll pick that too. The upload finishes quickly, but my heat map looks rather one directional, so I need to transform the data to subtract the mean for each row to get a more familiar blue-red heat map. If I zoom in on some sections now, it's pretty clear that one of the resistant biological replicates did not express the same way as the other. There's more you can do in NetGestalt, of course, but this is an ID Picker tutorial. So, check out the NetGestalt tutorials and manual to get an idea of where to go from here. Next up is the SCT export. The SCT format is now one of the possible file formats when saving output from QuasiTel. I simply go to File, Export, to QuasiTel. I select the groups on either side of the comparative analysis I'm doing. click Compute, and choose SCT as the file format to save to. 
the SCT format will always export grouping by gene. It ignores the group by parameter in the main Quasitel window. Once it's finished, I can import it to NetGestalt, similar to how I did with the CCT. Track, upload track file, choose file to pick the SCT I just created. Because it's not a CCT, there is no TSI file. The upload finishes quickly and I get three continuous tracks as a result. The log of the fold change between the groups, the log of the quasi p value for there being a difference between the two groups, and the natural log of the spectral count of both groups combined. For now, that's what you can do in ID Picker to support your net gestalt analysis. In the future, we will add some way to look at mutations and post-translationally modified sites according to gene.